Right. right. So wait, I'm just gonna open as well my notes to see where we did last time. Yeah. So last time we did the practice was Thursday, so two days ago, I guess. Yeah. And how was it? Uh, okay, wait, nineteen days, twenty six. Um, I felt um, it felt more organic. I think it's slowly, yeah. I, it, for me, it's because I at the beginning I have is often a pressure, a pressure between I know I have to basically, I think the idea of perfor performance of the performativity is something that I think when you are new, I think when you are new into something or yeah, I think so. When you are new with something or when you have too much experience in something, I think this idea of performativity, which uh, meaning that the uh, how conscious are you that you are in a, st in a state of performativity uh, is very difficult to 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 step to to keep aside because so it's, you like know, the, it's like the flow that we talked about before but in the sense that, yeah but i think the, the flow i will refer more when you are not aware of that you know like the flow will i will say when you actually are in between don't uh, be an amateur and being a professional uh, when you're in that in the middle space because then you can stay being aside from the from the performativity itself I think uh, from the pressure of or not knowing enough then you have to be concerned about practical things of your uh, matter or knowing too much then when you are concerned because you have this material in your head and you would like to use it as a content. Uh, I think when you're in between this space is when you can be relaxed. Uh, in, ter in, terms, in terms of performativity, I think. Uh, yeah. Maybe that's the way how I'm describing that because there was a way how I'm feeling now, like, Two sessions performativity, already. like not Martin kind of performativity, I guess. Yeah, but I think it's, it's, it's related in the sense that it's a contradiction because that comes from this book of um, that I'm reading now uh, that apparently is very important in performance art and in yeah performance art and, and in general in feminist um, um, it's, uh, discourse and in feminist discourse, yeah. Uh, it's called um, this book of Judith Butler called. Um, yeah, I don't remember now, but it's a book, and, and he mentioned that book in that interview, for instance. And because that's a, that's a book that they, when you go to Puff, for instance, is in Puff there is a uh, uh, when you enter, there is this uh, table with books that you can take uh, for free. Uh, at some point, that was uh, the movement research was part of these books, which are books that are being somehow or written in PATH or sponsor. I mean, somehow connected to PATH. And but as well, then you find some books often there. And this book I remember was there often. Uh, I mean, I remember just the image because when after I, I saw the Martin's uh, interview, that the last one, the uh that you send me then he speaks at some point about and he refers constantly about this book mm -hmm. and um and in the, and, and and then i was researching a bit more and apparently it's a book that influenced many things because that woman speaks there very specific about performativity in the sense that everybody that you are performing like you with your clothes now you are performing uh a gender that uh, me uh, with my clothes, uh, uh, we perform uh, a gender, and that we are not aware of, and all the consequences that this, this have, this thing have, like between the idea of what I'm supposed, 
what is a man, let's say in terms of gender, uh, what is like the society expect you for being a man to uh, perform. Uh, yeah, so so that's, and he, I think in, in that conversation, he was mixing that between, uh, is the way how he was separating dancing from dance. Um, and yeah, I'm other topics that maybe, yeah, I don't remember by heart these things. But then, so the idea, I don't know if maybe because I'm mixing these things. So what I, then I, it's, it's some, so, somehow mixed between that, like because I'm getting, because I'm reading this book and other one that is part of a group of uh, transition about decolonization of knowledge. That is a, as a, is a group um, path that I'm following, a uh, work. Uh, working group is called uh, yeah the asymmetry group and the idea is basically to work towards asymmetries starting in path asymmetries in different levels and but then to see around different topics and one topic is about decolonization of knowledge for instance and yeah it's a very and so these things are very are very current on my on my doing nowadays and I think are very complicated things because are very sensible in different ways um, um, so I guess when I'm and that's something that maybe in Frankfurt that already I thought I would like to talk with you as well I would, to see how you, what you think how you feel about some things but when we see each other then we can talk um, but then when I when I refer uh, in our practice about this idea of, I think in the just in the last few sessions I feel slowly more free, uh, or more in relation between the elements that, that I have, in let's say uh, my technical elements and my frustration and as well your presence because um, that's something that is cool, no? That I think. Your, I see my, I understand my setup. So you are not part of my setup because you are a presence in, you see like you are not my setup. You are something that I'm working with. So even though you are just a flat image, like if I compare with my setup, my things, you are just a flat image is uh, my intentions. That's what I was feeling the last time. Like I, I can, I slowly, I'm slowing down sometimes what I'm doing and then I try to as well to see what you do and if I will start moving as well I will be jumping between uh, or I was doing that the last time or moving um, with the feeling that you give me or that I, the, the feeling in general that I perceive from what I'm doing including you as a as a message, uh, or moving by technical means of what do I want to portray, including you, as a straight line. I, I mean, it could be even a straight line, like a code, like color fading, uh, delays, like, and then in between these two things, the last time I was doing, and then I can feel uh, my body reacting to that differently because all of these things that I'm saying that were thoughts so that really conscious uh, I will say it frameworks in my head basically it's me saying now I'm gonna feel you know between feeling and or and doing well more yeah more I'm moving more in a technical matter within everything that I have as well, then the perception of you then will be, yeah, will be different than just the feeling. Yeah, I think that's something that it happened to me the last time I could say. It. So resume, I was between these two aspects of feeling uh, or, or technically doing. Yeah, the two were different. I don't know if that makes sense to you or how can you re re relate this to your, uh, your own experience? Yeah. Um, 
Well, at some point I was thinking about something else, and uh, but I thought, okay, this is recorded, so maybe it's okay if I just uh, skip a little bit and <laughs> listen to it again. So I do, I don't want to question again uh, what you said, but I, I kind of understand what the technical setup and the presence of each other. Uh, but what I wanted to say, what, what I was thinking on the side was like this started to feel like, you know, um, this conversation, like, um, in a, in a dance, like workshop, like contemporary dance, like you kind of, <laughs> everyone moves. And then after that, like, you know, you make a circle and talk about the experience yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of thing. And this yeah, yeah. is like in the last few sessions in this chat, I didn't think about it. It was really like just talking, but today I really feel that I don't know why, maybe I'm just sitting on the, the floor, I mean, the beanbag. So that's why it makes me feel that it's just kind of, you know, <laughs> sitting in a circle experience or maybe yeah. this. Also, like, I think how I started this conversation was kind of weird that, like, I asked you, like, really formally, like, we did this practice two days ago and how was your experience? That was really, like, a bad introduction, I would say. How was your experience? Yeah, it was exactly. Yeah, okay, now I mean, what is it? I mean, I understand what you mean. Like, exa it's exactly what what somebody will start saying. Okay, so how was your experience? If you're in a dance world, you're exactly like that. But I, I think that's so cool. No, I mean, no, no. no. I just. It's, I think it's funny that. Sorry. I think it's funny that. Uh, sorry. I think it's funny that we kind of, like, it was for me. It was really awkward, but then that kind of revealed something and connection to other experience that's kind of not not exp yeah that's kind of interesting to think about but what do you want to say no the, i think what i found interesting from this topic now that we are reflecting about what we are doing is that uh i mean what we are doing what we're doing this is that uh it becomes uh so personal while it's still then then you have to express you know that's what it has danced that's what is beautiful in that context no that people really have to say things you know <laughs> and it's many times it's just if you are sitting if you remember being in, in a work in a dance workshop because you are giving your body you're really there um then when people express are really yeah that really is their their life basically is their life in the time space in a in a time space uh, life so or life plus? What? Life or life plus? I think I think it's life in the sense that in that moment I will say that one person can be when you're in a dance workshop if you're if you have some uh, task then you will be framed you, you're framed no somebody said like you guys have 15 minutes you have uh, you can use only lines and your arms and you have to follow your elbows. So that's very, that's very specific and then you will go for it. And that moment, uh, I guess, most often is the case that nobody's going to push you to go and follow such a workshop. So if you are there, it's because you really want to do that and you will be really following that. So from that point of view, you are fully in flow. And for you at that moment is nothing else existing more than you and in the space and time. Uh, you you are framed in a your time frame of life is very defined. Your your dimensionality from that point of view your dimension is very defined. And because it's so intense, afterwards you have to speak about it. And that's what I'm trying to say. Like the things that people said are so personal, you know. Like like I mean they're really speaking from their heart. And then sometimes they take oh, more time, less time, but for sure they're Sometimes even, you know, when you listen, you don't make sense of what they're saying. Uh, but for them, it's really, it's, it's so real, you know, for mm -hmm. when you are there, it's so real because it's a strong experience. Yeah. And it's abstract and it's complete. And it's, uh, what I think I'm trying to relate with what we're doing is that it's abstract in the sense it's dance, you know, like then it's dance. So, so it's abstract. If you think an imaginary, what we do with visuals is abstract, but it's real. So then you're trying to put that in, in words and that's why it becomes, you get, you have this giggling sensation, you know, like, mm. like, like. But it's never like, recorded it's, in on the dance studio. Uh, it was very rare to record it. Like normally what you have is other people watching. 
Yeah, I mean, even for the conversation, like people take notes, but it's not recorded. I mean, I understand that's how it is. And, you know, some people don't want to be recorded, but maybe it's, it's interesting. It's a good time to think about why and like, should we just like record it in some cases? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know how people feel about this, but because we are like so used to like record, I mean, the sessions are all recorded yeah. and even this chat is recorded. Yeah. And yeah, like, I think it's, it's okay. Like, because to me, I I'm fine, like record it all the time. Um, sometimes I feel like even if I'm in the bathroom, I should like kind of being performative that, you know, I'm fine if I'm recorded. Sometimes, like, I don't know, this is just weird, but um, I'm not saying about the bathroom, but like, because the reason why I feel not recording in a dance studio is, I feel recording in the dance studio is not appropriate because people don't like it. But then if I'm alone, then it's fine recording. In, and probably if yeah. you're there and if we agree, then it's fine doing it. Yeah. And I think we should like stop thinking that because others are not comfortable, don't do that. Like, I mean, it makes sense for some cases, but like we should at least ask that question, you know, are, are you... Well, I think it also depends on the context, but uh, yeah, like, because I, I keep think, thinking about like how we change the notion of dance studio, like how we work, how we create works. Like, I think this is something I said last time, but with regard to that, like, it, it's interesting to think about, like, if we go back to the dance studio, for example, in that classical, well, not classical, but uh, floor, like, what if we record it? And how is it? What's going to yeah. bring to that? Hmm? Yeah, what, yeah, to... Yeah, I, I, to I, think there is, I think there is something that... Uh, I think when we see each other, then the thing is, because there is this... Like, in this point, what we're doing, there is a... Uh, directionality is some kind of like there's a vector like the vector that, that that i think we have i have my vectors when we perform is like going in that direction you know my attention and the things that i do it goes to you so my attend that, that my attention and my intention goes toward my screen which because i'm is clearly that what i'm trying to do is going to be shared with you uh that's the main, my intentionality because you are just in this frame that i have right so if I want to share a message, I need to put it through the space. Um, I think that will change when we see each other because then for it as, uh, the, direc the directionality of what we do, there is not a frame, for instance. And so then that's, I think that was part of the thing that I said the last time when we talked uh, about when I when I mentioned about interfaces and is that because it's, it's it's not about I think it's not about like we really need to have or internet or something in particular but I think because so far then when we said when we speak about practices there is something that is filtering basically the my intentionality. Uh, before it passes through you, that in this case is the computer, then that's an interface. And then then that's what I said. I think uh, there, there should be an interface while we're working in this framework. I don't know what, what is the interface. You and mean, if, if I you're physically there. there. Yes, yes, because, and I think it's because of the, the direct, I think it has to be with intention and the, the, the direction of my doing. Mm -hmm. the, because I don't know how. Yeah. Because there is, there is, my, the, I will feel there is, oh, I feel that there is, because there is an interface, I don't know how it will be. Like, yeah, but I think that should, those are things that we have to try. Like, how can I, 
like that's what I think the same one of the simplest examples and it still is the same is the interface with a piece of paper. If I have a piece of paper and I draw something, my intention still will go or I do something with the paper. It doesn't have to be drawn with the paper. But if I just take my paper and then I do what I have to do, then after I just uh, then my intention is still is is uh, let's say is towards a work that I'm doing together with you, but I'm not my my interaction is not with you, but it's with the interface. And at some point you have to you have to bear, have the paper which has my intentions given to you, and then you have to do the same exercise. Um, which is the same, like, so you interpret somehow what is happening and then you put your directionality in the in that sense. Um, I see. Yeah, you see what I mean? And, and and what I'm speaking is about here is in, is about vectors and uh, vectors uh, slash uh, directionality intentions. You know, like in yeah. this clear framework that we have is clear. Yeah. I have like a few ideas around this. Actually, this is something I wanted to mainly talk about today. Um, so going back to the, the, the last uh, practice, I, I don't know if you noticed, but I wasn't using Hydra and I was using only um, OBS Studio, like virtual cam, just overlaying myself on top of your image. Um, the reason why I did it is I thought it's, it will have less delay and it was true, I think. So the video you transmitted was sent back to you with my body in it. And that, that was like much, much faster than doing it through Hydra for some reason. I don't know, like screen sharing and all these things slows down. So OBS somehow. But at the, at, the end, at the end, you use Hydra or at some point you use Hydra. No. Oh, the code was code was for the sound. Ah, uh, the, the the Hydra code is for the sound. It's not Hydra actually. I I no, opened I, other editor that has a code in it, and I yeah, took yeah, that I, from OBS to overlay as well. But I was yeah, not editing okay. video at, at all. Okay, but at some point I think I see like you you have some. Um, yeah, your scheme was completely white or black. The th you were using threshold at some point, no? I have to look again. I, I haven't watched it uh, afterwards, so I cannot recall. But if there was something, probably it was something with uh, OBS Studio and uh, not and, with Hydra. And OK, so and again, so you were doing that to test the speed of the, the real time speed. Yeah, I mean, of course, it's not real time. It's still like a few second delay, but it's smoother, I would say, just to see yeah. what, how it changes yeah. our interaction. And I, I don't know, like I don't, for now, I don't make any observation or any statement. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, need, I need to watch it again. And But for the experience wise, I think it also helped that you were using Hydra all the time. So it was already some generative images from you and I was just overlaying on top of it, but that already created something interesting. And I yeah. see that my body was sent back to me because, you know, you were using that as well. Yeah. So that was something. And then I started to think, this is the second point I wanted to relate to what you said, but um, uh, I don't know if you follow uh, or you know any uh, Annie Abrahams, she's doing like net art uh, remote performance with uh, with Daniel as well. Um, no. And, and Lisa you... uh, Land Project. With, with Annie, Annie, I think, I, is she live, is she lives in Germany? Is that no, Annie? She, I think she no. lives in France. Can you send me her something about her or her name? Yeah, I, I'll do it later. Uh, okay. But, uh, but why you mention her? So I also invited her to the festival because she's doing this uh, 15 minute session. Um, she's been doing this for like quite a long time, like not every week, but uh, once in a while she does a series of 
uh, sessions that uh, people meet in Zoom and uh, they have two versions. One is people just sit down and close eyes and just contemplate for 15 minutes. The other with the, version- with eyes, with, eyes, with eyes closed. Eyes closed, yeah, but sound is on. And okay. the other one is, uh, I think there are like three people, Annie and uh, Daniel and uh, Muriel. They kind of give, not instruction, but like, you know, talk through the session um, about the body or your feeling and people. Yeah. I think I saw one of the, yeah, and that's that Daniel Lisa. Yeah, Lisa. I don't know if Lisa is doing this uh, together still, but uh, she was part of it, and uh, so they kind of, you know, have this kind of um, practice that. Yeah. But mainly they close their eyes, which is quite interesting, I think, because I when I tried something with Lisa and Daniel, we were like, well, they they kind of suggested to you know close eyes and move together. Um, yeah. But like our practice is like so far, it's it's really visual, right? Yeah. Like I try to make sound, but it's not like the main thing. And it's not like about making sound from the body or, you know, like with a voice, but it's more like syn synthetic, synthesized sound and um, I think it's not like which is good, which is better or worse, but like we have like we're start, starting to see like different practices, which yeah. kind of you know addresses the main idea and also like what Daniel wrote in the email, you know, like about uh, what 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 was it like methodology or something like like the methodologies, yeah, like to yeah. check like how. What, is, what are the things that are happening? I mean, that's basically what we discuss in these things, you know? Like, yeah. what are the things that, yeah, the met methodology, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we don't have to, like, you know, list up everything, but it's it's good to know, like, which direction we're taking. And, yeah, like, at one point, maybe we should try, like, closing eyes, which, which might be hard for what we do but no uh, but you know it's weird that you that you mentioned that because i woke up this morning with with uh i have uh anxiety when in, in some let's say uh in some periods and after summer i have anxiety and and then i need to meditate more than what i do uh i try to meditate every day and then if i if i have anxiety i need to meditate that's the way how i i, I yeah i don't kill myself, I guess. <laughs> and things always. Um, that's so. Then, then after that practice, at some point, because I was reflecting a bit about, because in my in my practice, I was trying to be uh, to use uh, gratitude. Then I was uh, then I was feeling gratitude about uh, this the, the exchange that we have, the the our meetings that we have. And then, and then I was feeling as well with my computer and then gratitude for the computer. And at some point, uh, they, yeah, just I, I, I thought, I thought, yeah, I remember, yeah, actually, I remember in the practice what it happens at some point was, I don't know if you realized at some point, yeah, when at the end of we were both, we were moving quite fast. At some point, I stopped moving. I was not moving. And, and then I was just, I was more than looking, I was trying to be contemplative and this idea of the, the closing up. So I was more in the state of meditation than looking because like what I do right now, even if I will not be speaking, even if I'm not speaking is looking at the computer, right? Yeah. Uh, this, which is, I mean, similar. If you will not be moving your head is what you do right now. You're looking at your computer because I'm speaking. So, at that moment, when I stopped moving, I was just more flat contemplative of what was happening, which which was a lot of your movements. Mm. But then, but yeah, so I'm mentioning that because at that point I was feeling very, yeah, I think at some point even for a second, I guess in my head, it should pass the idea to close my eyes 
but I did not because then somehow I, I thought I needed to look at you um, mm. or to be there with my eyes open as well. So it's, it's, it's funny that you mentioned this because I already, in the last practice, I, I felt contemplative, which is mm. close to, um, yeah, that's close to the, my person, the, the person that I am. Um, and that's connected to what I was saying before. I think it's slowly what we do, even though like the output is visual, uh, always is visual because we export it and we, uh, that's the framework that we, just, that we, uh, we proposed, is, is slowly it seems that it's becoming more, more in dance. I feel that the dance is present regardless of the motion, you know, regardless of how much are we dancing, I feel that we speak or we do more dance. We, the, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I feel that we do more. We work more in dance with the choreographic aspect of it. That's how I feel. Mm. Um, Interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know about that last part, but I think, yeah, when you said you were just watching the screen, I don't know if I noticed that I have to watch it again like um, because I feel yeah. that I think I noticed that and reacted somehow or did I I don't know um, maybe I think you were moving very fast at that moment because that was the last two minutes the last yeah. two the last two three minutes we both were moving quite fast and yeah. I remember because I was doing this thing because I have this I, I was yeah. doing this with my hair well then uh, I didn't notice but yeah yeah, so it, because you were moving very fast. Yeah, that's and it. Like, also, like I wanted, what I wanted, what I was thinking is, I was moving fast, but I was not watching the screen at all because I was, well, I was listening to the the sound I was making. And also, this is another thing that, well, adding on top of another, and on top of another, but I, I think I sent the sound at one point, and then I stopped it until the end i didn't uh, send the the you know the sound i was working on yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. i, I was felt, sending my yeah. phone but yeah, yeah that, because i felt like well at first i felt it's a bit like you know i was a bit shy and also like that day i wasn't really fully like mentally pre prepared for this so i was like i was not really happy with what i was doing and then oh, okay well, whatever and then also I thought it's okay if we don't, you know, share everything, you know, like if I'm just working on that thing, yeah. that sound, and if I just use that for myself, it doesn't really matter if you listen to that or not. Anyways, you see that my body. So, um, yeah. so then I just stopped it and yeah, at one point I was somewhat happy with the sound. So I just kept moving and moving and didn't really, uh, of course, I didn't li listen to what you were doing, like this environmental sound from you. I, I wasn't sure at all. And I was not looking at the screen either. So what did I want to say? Yeah, like, I think there's like about the sound I was sending or not, that was like conscious decision of what kind of interface or the channel that I want to connect with you and also yeah like at the end i think we're like both like different ways but kind of not well i want to say like both we are both like kind of meditating or contemplating but it doesn't really but you were looking at the screen and i was not looking at the screen it, it seems to me like the in the last session I feel that we both we were working uh, more often together than in the last session and I don't know if it has to be related because then you were not having Hydra on top of that no, because I didn't and now just I didn't know that you didn't have Hydra on that mm. uh, now just now you say that but something that I really felt could be partly because I was consciously trying to work between jumping in my constraints that's something that maybe as well i would like to propose maybe i finish what i'm saying and then i propose that then 
is that I was trying to jump between my 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 constraints, and that's what I refer. Like for me, slowly the practice becomes more choreographic, even though the the output is visual. Like then, as 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 me as as a, as dancer in my in the choreography that I'm proposing, that I I'm defining unconsciously, I guess, what or consciously. Uh, slash unconsciously, I will. I, I have defined what are my constraints, and then I will be jumping between them. Meaning, one body, one body in relation with another body, one body alone, one body with my with my with myself, one body with my code, one body uh, with DDMX, one body with DDMX, and you like all these constraints, like all these puzzles constantly, and that's what I re that's what I refer about the choreographic aspects of it then because then the constraints uh get repeated because that's what we do in the practice basically then between in my in my in my con in my constraints I, I i repeat my constraints so they get more set in my head so i know i will use four channels for instance and then i know i will use four because i have some midi control then i, I know i need to have my MIDI control has a space for more, I guess, more than 30 faders, and but I will just put four because I just need four uh, and things like that. So those are my constraints, and between them, then I, I I let myself in a grand in a big scale will be between the feeling, just doing I don't know what I'm doing, and then I don't know what are the constraints or the uh, actual thought of uh thinking what i'm doing and then trying to build basically imag imaginary uh, on my visuals but then i define this too differently uh yeah i already said that at the beginning and i think what 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 what, what i was trying to say the whole in in you and is when you said you don't look at the screen or your working in the visual and the sound at some point, I think all those things are completely fine because there you're a person, you know, it will be not fine if I'm in, if I'm with a robot, take it, then it's different, but because you're a person, then you have your own days and your own things. I think that's, that's completely, that's part of what we do. But what I think it makes a difference is like when you define when, uh, what are your constraints and then you can jump between them um yeah yeah so in that sense like i think um i i have two things i wanted to say i don't know which should come first but uh maybe i start with the second one you know it's it's just that uh yeah like switching between these constraints or i don't know how to say like yeah constraints i i feel yeah, like constraints yeah. might not be the right word but let's let's keep that um it's at first, I thought like this session could be like thirty minutes. I think that that's what I proposed, you know. Um, yeah. But we stick to one hour, and it's actually good that we do it for one hour because then we can kind of experiment with different constraints. And if we fail, that's also okay. But I think if it's like twenty minutes or thirty minutes, then we have to somehow like stick to one thing, and yeah. it more it's more like. You know, it's it's gonna be like more set, and it's yeah. I think I have to be like aware that okay, I'll do I'll spend first ten minutes with Hydra to make some kind of yeah. visual, and then make the sound. Or like I wouldn't probably like even think about using sound. And which is a composition. I mean, those what this thing that's a composition, no? Like that from a choreographic aspect is a composition. That's what you will do as mm. creator. When you are in dance, then you will do. Then does you choose how to uh, divide the, the time space that you have? Yeah, and also this is something I talked last time. I think the you know I want something to put on Instagram, which kind of makes it even harder. Like if you if you I stick to that idea that I want to have something for Instagram, and I only have thirty minutes, then that's like you know. <laughs> Basically, I'm just like straight going to this Instagramable moment, and yeah. which might be interesting. But you know, it, cool. like with this because one hour I have format, it, yeah, I have it as well for me. Like then I, I know. But then for me, it's like 
at some point there are some images that are very cool. So then at some point I knew, okay, now, and then I took like 20 screenshots at that moment. And then after I, I just select one of those. Or if, if one of these screenshots are not working because let's say I'm trying to move and at the same time take the screen, screenshot, that's difficult. So, but then I know in my head, I know what moment was interesting for me to go back in the recording and then the screenshot. So it's like annotation kind of. Yes, but 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 still, I'm thinking because I'm I actually I'm promoting this more than you, so that, that's I, and that's kind of a role that I like to take. So I promote it and then I tag you and then I do as well like when is the night? I said tonight those practices. So then I'm thinking as well the in the image, no, but then the image it will at some point while we're doing things, but that's that maybe is, is kind of like the difference that we we're having, in the sense of because you, but I don't know if it's true or not, but it's because I think, let's say if you, if we work, if we work with the Hydra, then you have way more things to play with there around, then I don't have so many things to play around. So I have basically two options or one is, uh, one is like, or I stress really while like trying to, to work in Hydra in the performance, I mean, in the best practice, so in one hour, one is that. And the other one is just take something, some code that I already I know already is working, and then just modify some numbers. Um with some basic understanding. Um but for you it's different your experience because then you know your 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 information is way broad than mine in that case. Um yeah, but yeah. this is the, something I wanted to, the first point I wanted to say was that last time, because I didn't use Hydra, that made me like really, uh, well, at first I was so frustrated that, that I tried to figure out how to use OBS, Virtual Cam, and Hydra together, but it didn't work well. So I at just the same decided, time, at the be, same time. Uh, we, within the practice, you were doing that at the, in that hour or I before. At first, or maybe before that, I was preparing a bit and it didn't work. So I was like, okay, well, I think in, in the practice, actually, like I looked, like locked in again, that was something with the configuration, but it didn't work. And then I was like, okay, I'll just stick to the safe side, which is what's working right now with the OBS, which means that I cannot use Hydra. And that made me you know, that already gave a constraint. I was forced to, you know, switch between different tools because I don't have an option to stick to Hydra for the rest of the uh, hour to, you know, like be on the safe side and make some visuals okay. that I'm comfortable but with. But then because of that, I don't know, but yeah, but now I understand that before, because of that, then what I thought it was that you were more contemplative, contemplative trying to be, more uh, recipient of what was happening. That was the feeling that I got. I didn't know that you were not using Hydra. So I just no, thought because I, 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 saw, I saw you often just like very looking and then sometimes you were just moving and doing something yeah. based, like, this on my, is... based on my image, based on my image that because you were using them. So then I thought that was your proposal uh yeah that's the that, that I didn't know no, you were not using that was that was really interesting moment that uh I I don't know exactly why I was moving like this, but I remember yeah, yeah, I was yeah, yeah. I was doing this quite long, and that yeah, yeah, time yeah, I, I, I think I was coding sound, and it took so long because I'm not so used to it. And but I for for some reason I'm just like I can code like this. I think that's kind of my but habit to you know like look somewhere. Did you, or, did you but did you realize that as well? I was doing the same. Did you um, saw that? Um, I think I noticed quite late, like not immediately, but yeah. at some point I, I noticed. And then, then I got yeah, like yeah. really like self-conscious that, oh, I'm moving that I, I yeah, I, I was conscious that I was giving like different impression to you that I was intentionally doing something like this. You probably thought that way, but I was just coding and that's how I coded. <laughs> okay. That's very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was that was really fun. Yeah, I, yeah, that was. Yeah, I, I, I really like that moment. I have to rewatch this. This, this is really cool. I should I, yeah. in, in YouTube. I should have this uh, 
the video link that goes to that part of the, uh, that video in this chat, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, well, I, I don't know if I can do it, but... Um, it's like the link, like the link of what we're saying like now. The, yeah, like the reference to, yeah, you know, this yeah. video. Because, <laughs> yeah, yeah. well, actually this is quite important because now we're doing annotations, but like, of course, there's like something that links to each other and we didn't use i didn't we didn't use the clock i, I thought at some point i yes, didn't use the clock I, 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 I totally forgot about it but it's okay yeah. like it, it's fine you know it's just happening yeah but we should, we should try to do it just at the beginning like then the, yeah 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 next time yeah. so that we next are... time we try to remember like for it's just for a second in in our recording we can yeah. we can try to yeah. i was happy because i was using this and i feel there was oh. the, because there was something green, so it was just reflecting, passing the image, and I was very happy with this. I just, I just found a few minutes before is this are these kind of things to to put these things, and I thought, wow, wow. And uh, yeah, and yesterday I bought, no, two days ago I bought a a chroma T-shirt, a green T-shirt. Want to try? I bought a you green like T-shirt. This is something like I was talking with Nian Su, the, the dancer, um, and uh, yeah, we want to do something with green objects and she's collecting so many things and I haven't got anything except like a piece of paper. But, so I have to look, look for that today, maybe. <laughs> or maybe I can, cool. I can spend like a few days in Frankfurt because I'm free and buying green stuff, buying green green stuff, stuff. in Frankfurt. Yeah, really cool. Okay, I think we can stop around here for the recording. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait. Maybe let me just reframe to what I put in my notes afterwards. Dance. I don't know what is that. Recording vectors. Yeah, I think I like this idea of. For me, it's in terms of like um, dance. No, not only in terms of what we're doing. It seems to me like there are some things that, for me, in my understanding, are more clear. And as as a constraint or as something that is like this idea of the uh, of the intentionality, the vectors and the direction and how we work, because it's 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 true. It is towards you. I mean, it is towards the screen. So my intentions, even though what I'm doing here, things meaning that my direction go here and here, my intentionality goes there. Even what I'm doing here. I'm still projecting towards you. Mm. Even when I'm moving here, my my intention is going to you without regardless that my arm is not there. I'm going with you when I'm there. And that seems right. that seems, seems to me there is something very clear. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I also think about like it's not to me, it's not like a direction that goes to the screen, but it's more like a frame. But it, it, it but it's the same thing, right? It's like where I am in the frame and how I'm using the frame. And that's, yeah. it, 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 in the end, it's the same thing, I think. Because, because I think those things are like the in intentionality, you know? Like if you talk more about vectors could be more, or vectors of direction, that could be a bit more uh, elusive. But if you talk about intention, is more clear in the word. Like my intention, even though my arm is not going there, my intention when I talk here is going there right it's not going there yeah when i talk when i'm moving here my intention is going towards you that's the intentionality and that's something that i think is very is very defined in the framework that we are pre uh, presenting now yeah just to keep to keep on mind all right uh maybe i was thinking because uh maybe we can do the practice if it's possible for you maybe on wednesday could you instead of thursday Oh, because you're traveling on Thursday. I mean, no, the Thursday, festival is... Friday. On Friday. Fr okay. Friday. Wait, wait, so, so, wait, can I stop the recording now? Yes, yes.